Uh-huh. Well, you look good. I feel good. I can still do a lot of things that people do at 68 instead of 86. <laughs> <laughs> So is there, is there anything else you wanted to, to say about your wife so that we can kind of get to know her more through you? Yeah, the first time I went to their house, I took a big box of oranges, grapes, and fruits, and all kinds, and a 10 pound box of chocolate, and when they saw me going in the house with that, they had a little buddy flip their lid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of a lot of things there, but not something really to talk about. <laughs> well, she's, it seems like you guys had a really good a good marriage and a, a great life together. Yeah, we did. We we weren't. Rich, we were poor. We made it too. Yeah. Has it been a long time since she's passed, or? Well, she she, she died in the two or two it'll be three years in April. Okay, so it's still it's still fairly. She died on her birthday. Oh my goodness. Did you uh, get into any trouble when you were younger, like when you were a kid? When I was a kid? Mm -hmm. I never was a kid. No. When you start working at seven years old, you're not a kid. Yeah. So did you have to work instead of go to school? No, I went to school a day in my life. No, you worked right from, right from the time you were... when I was seven, and when I came here, I was 18, I had to work to work again. Was it was it scary coming here from a place? No. No. Well, we came on a boat. Took 19 days to get from Beirut to New York. Wow. From New York, they picked us by car to come in here. That's a long time on a boat. Did your, your family come with you or was it just you? I had two sister, a brother and a mother together. Wow. But I had my father and two other brothers over here then. Oh, they were already, they were here before you guys? Oh, Dad was here a long time before us. Okay. The other two brothers came in three years ahead of us. So you had a pretty big family then? You had lots of siblings? Well, we were, we were seven kids, five boys and three girls. And are any of your, your siblings still in Canada? Well, there's only two left. Another boy and a girl, and the rest is passed by. Yeah. What would you say were the best times of your life? Best time of my life, when I ran away from the place that I was working on, on a farm. Mm -hmm. Went to work in the wood. Okay. Guy tied a rope around my waist, I was 11. <laughs> I tied a rope around my waist, tied on a tree on top of the mountain, dangling me down in the mountain, cutting the trees. <laughs> and my grandma. Wow. <laughs> wow. And if that rope ever broke, there's 3,000 feet drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you, you didn't like the farm, but you liked the, the wood cutting or the wood? Yeah. 
What did you do on the farm? Use a big dig behind the plow and haul of the, the, the weed and everything else from here to there, look after animals. That's what a farm hand does. Yeah. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be as many uh, as many people working on farms these days. A little bit in New Brunswick, but not, not too much. Oh, yeah, but the farm in this country is completely different. What was there, there was no nothing. Mechanical as everything, you know, by hand, and use the oxen to plow the field, and you have to, because if the plow doesn't reach, you have to dig it by hand and all that. Oh, wow. It's nothing like we have here. So you were a very hard worker then? Yeah. I worked on the road, blasting up mountains. I work in the tunnel. Wow. Blasting up to the tunnel. And I used to rod eight feet long and around like that to dig the holes in the mountain and put the powder in that way and blow it up. Wow. So it was dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> I, used to, I used to fill up the hole about 10, 20 of it. You light them here, they start to blow up, I get a light and more going on with the head. Wow. So is that the main, like is, is farming the main source of work for, like in Lebanon? No, no when, I, when I was living out the family of seven, I was working on the road, I was working in my farm, like I said, and all day long and at night digging up gardens for different people. Wow. Make enough money to eat. So how much how much would you make like in a day back in those those days? Well, every two weeks I make thirty nine dollars over there. Wow. When I came here every two weeks I only get twenty six dollars. Wow. Work forty four hours for thirteen dollars a week. So times have definitely changed. Wow. You used to go to the movie theater with a quarter, you buy a pop, you buy a ticket, you buy a bag of chips and have change left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wish it was like that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fifty dollars to go to a movie these days. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, yeah. I know all about that. When I was going with the wife, sometimes, you know, I took the plane from here to Moncton. Mm -hmm. $18 to fly to Moncton and back. Oh my goodness. So you were living in Fredericton and she was living in Moncton? Outside of Moncton. It used to cost her 20 bucks from the airport to get there around. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you guys were kind of in a in a long distance relationship for a little while. Well, whatever it was, it worked. Yeah. Put it that way. Hmm. I don't know, there must be pictures of there of our wedding somewhere. I think I did see I think I might have seen a couple in there. I'm just gonna look and see. But that's the original family when we first got to this country. Okay, so that's your siblings and your parents and you? My mother and father and I have uh, two sisters and three brothers. And on the right, is that a picture of your parents? Well, I mean, the parents were with us in that picture. No, there's another picture on the right, and it's just on a man and a woman, a man with glasses. Over the fireplace, you mean? Yep. I don't know who would that would be. I don't know. And then I see some pictures over on the, the wall by the TV. Is that your um, grandchildren? Some of them. Yeah. Graduating, it looks like high school or university, maybe? Fredericton. Fredericton High School. 
<clears throat> Do you remember anything about the war? What? Do you remember anything about the war? Oh yeah, I used to have a lot of fun when the army was training and living. You have the other muffin too, Andrew, if you're still <laughs> Oh no, I'm. I have to. I have to use both my hands to <laughs> film. I still haven't even touched my coffee. Oh, really? Well, pause it. No, I can. You good? <laughs> yeah, I can manage. He loves his coffee. <laughs> yeah, when the Second World War was on, I, I was only seven years old. And the, uh, for all the world's army used to be training in Lebanon. You know? Wow. Just like the East Mm-hmm. We used to go out to where they be sitting and firing and pick up the shells from the machine gun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and a few times uh, they shot some bomb from big cannon up into the up into the mountain. And uh, some of them did blow up. We used to carry them and throw them down the canyon and they'd blow up as a way down. So that was that's what you guys did for fun? <laughs> yeah, for fun when I was seven, eight years old. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> was it scary seeing all the you know, like all the, the army trucks and the when, when you when you're under seven years old and you don't remember. I remember everything but you don't get scared of things like that. No. But why don't you ask me what I did after I was blind? So I'd love to know. You look around the house and see all the swings, all the bird houses, all the chairs, all the things. I built all that after I was blind. You did? Uh -huh. That's That's talent. Wow. That's amazing. Well, then you have to look at them and see them. So you said there were 